How's it going guys? I'm Mike with Sunny Slope Homestead. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make a heated chicken water that's bigger and less expensive than you can find it in the store. Check it out. So, I don't know if you guys ever see those waters that, you know, they're heated, but they're not cheap. I'll tell you what, not cheap at all. Okay, I'll, I'll kick my boots off. We don't want any moisture in the coop. <laughs> These chickens love pecking at my feet, getting all the snow off my feet. Oh, come on guys, come on. You guys are nuts. All they do is peck at my feet when I come in here. These little ones that they, ah! You better chill out, Zilla. Good Lord, you're coming in hot. I don't know, you can't come at me like that. You're gonna activate my PTSD, get me all freaked out, man. I'm just playing, but back to what I was saying. This is a one gallon heated chicken water. Now, with this, it has to be filled every single day. It is an absolute pain to fill it every single day. I mean, it's not a big pain, but I would kind of like to not have to haul a gallon of water all the way down to the coop every single day. So, I looked into buying a bigger heated water. The problem with these big heated waters is they only fill from, you know, the top. They bust loose like your normal water. You flip it up, you heat it, or you pour your water in, you put your top, your bottom on the top and you flip it back over. Do you know how frustrating that would be to deal with in the winter time? So I'm going to show you what I'm going to make out of a five gallon bucket and it's going to be heated water and they'll hold five gallons. Did I say it's going to hold five gallons? It's going to hold five gallons of water. And did I say it's going to be heated? Yes, it's going to be heated and no more one gallon refills every day on this bad boy we will leave it in here because what's better than five gallons how about uh seven and a half gallons because this is actually a two and a half gallon heater heated water girls can you can you give me some room can you give me some room they hate being locked up in here but i don't know if you noticed It's snowing pretty good outside. So you guys are gonna stay, you're gonna stay on lockdown. You don't, you don't wanna go outside anyways. You guys are nuts, man. Trust me, they have plenty of water, but they just love, they love picking snow off the boots. And it's just the little ones. These new, these new little chickens, my new guys, my new girls, should I say, they love getting the snow off my boots. I kind of wondered if the larger chickens are keeping them from the water, but I've witnessed them drinking. But we're gonna also take care of that today with our extra water that we're gonna make because we're gonna have double the waters in here. So yeah, let's get to it. So you guys might be thinking, how am I gonna make a water that's larger in capacity, holds more water obviously, is heated or cheap and cheaper than you can buy it online or at the store. Well, let me show you, because it's gonna take a couple steps from a couple other videos that I've shown in the past. So y'all gonna have to pay attention. Who man, it is really coming down today. First things first, Let's grab our everyday water five gallon bucket. That's right, folks. I'm not sure where the lid is for this thing, but we'll get it figured out. All right, so you guys, you guys seen 
the video where I've had these painter lids. We took this one off because we're going to need this off. We're going to set it to the side. But you guys saw that video where we had these painter lids. These is what you're going to need. You're going to need this because it's going to be a part of your five gallon chicken water. Now this is an old bucket that I made up last year where I have these nipples that you can buy online really cheap. I think you can get like a 10 pack for like five bucks or something. Or is it like five pack for 10 bucks? One of the two. We'll figure it out later. But they just hit those little nipplers and uh, they get their water out. You're going to have to get a set of nipple waters, five gallon bucket, and you're going to have to get yourself a painter's lid. Now the key ingredient to this chicken water heated is this right here. So I purchased this online the other day. It's just a nice little heater made specifically for five gallon buckets and pails. So it's a metal line heater. Looks like it has a little vent in the back for uh, allowing water and stuff, but it uses its own heat shield to stay off the plastic. So you don't have a heating element sitting on the bottom of this plastic. So that's good. Now the cord, it's a fairly long cord, but I'm, I'm going to have to get an extension cord for my coop because she's only about, oh, I would say this whole thing is probably five, probably five feet long. Now she comes with an adapter so you can hang this over your bucket, your pail, whatnot. You can wrap your cord into it. Ooh. Let's see if we can test it out. I'm not going to use this. I'm going to show you something that I'm going to do different, but I'm going to put this on here so you guys know what I'm talking about. So, oh, she's going to fight me. Well, it doesn't help that it's also like 22 degrees outside and this stuff is stiff as a board. But you guys, you get my drift, right? Actually, the this part would be on this side. Whatever. Moving on. So, moving on. We're going to set this in the bottom of here. Well... That produces one problem. How do I get my cord outside my painter's lid? Well, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna drill a hole, and then I'm gonna cut the side down, fish the wire through that hole, down the side of that cut, through that hole, and then I'm gonna use the painter lid to secure it. Now, is it gonna be watertight anymore? No, it's gonna lose all its water tightness once I do something like that, but we don't use this bucket for hauling water anyways. It stays stationary. The only thing it needs to do is hold water from here on down. So let's get cut. Find me a nice little place to make my hole. We're gonna probably want it on the back side where the handle's at so the cord doesn't interfere maybe. So, or maybe we want the cord to go up and then follow the handle. Let's do that. So let's drill our hole right there. And also, I'm gonna put a happy little bush right down over here in the corner there. And that'll just be our little secret. And if you tell anyone that that bush is there, I will come to your house and I will cut you. I'm gonna use this as a reference so I don't go too high or too low. So we're gonna wanna put that, we're gonna wanna put that right there somewhere in that line. We don't want it too low. So let's get to it. Now, I do have a larger bit. We got a hole drill. I do have a larger bit, but it's down in the shop. I don't know if you guys noticed, but it's really blizzarding out right now, so we're not gonna we're not gonna walk down there again. We're gonna cut down the side here until we get to the top of that hole. Perfect. Now, let's put our little heater. Go down to your home. Go to your hole. Put our heater down the hole, fold this apart, and bam, just like that. And then we're gonna take our lid, and we're gonna use that to hold that slice together.
And if you want to get real fancy with this, silicone that bad boy all up. We're not going to do that today, but uh, we'll probably do that when it gets a little bit warmer out. All right, let's get it put to use. So there you have it, folks. A cheap DIY heated chicken water that's five gallons and it's a nipple water. water. Blah, 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 blah. But <laughs> nonetheless, I've got online and I could not find a nipple water of this size that was heated. The only thing that I found was an open bottom water, which I hate because chickens, when they spend a lot of time in the coop, they fill that thing up with yunk, guck, and you have to wash it out. And trust me, you gotta wash these out too, but the only one they offered was a three and a half gallon heated water that you have to flip upside down, take the heated pan off the bottom, fill it up, put the heated pan back on, and then flip it back over with the open water on the bottom. And I wasn't all about that life. So this thing, pretty cheap. I think I wanna say that I'm in this for maybe 50 bucks. Maybe dancing close to 60. That three and a half gallon water was ungodly expensive and I wasn't gonna go that route. It wasn't practical for me and everything about it I hated. It's not super cheap, but it's the cheapest option out there. And I think it's gonna work great. You're not gonna have to fill water as much depending on how many chickens you got. We'll check in on this and see how it works a little bit later. I gotta get to tending to this driveway. Snow still coming down. Mama's gonna be coming home soon and I gotta get this thing plowed. So I hope this video helped some of you guys and I'll see you on the next episode of Sunny Slope Homestead. Thanks for watching guys.